Hi friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn how to sort elements by frequency. So here's the problem. Print the elements of an array in order of decreasing frequency. If two numbers have same frequency, then print the one which came first. Let's discuss an example. Suppose we have this array. We can see that frequency of 8 is 3, frequency of 2 is 2, frequency of 5 is also 2 and frequency of 6 is 1. So the output array becomes this. Let's discuss the solution to this problem. First, we sort the array. Then, we construct a 2D array using every element's count. At last, we sort the 2D array on the basis of count. Let's implement the algorithm on this example. First, we sort the array. Now, we construct a 2D array. We can see that 2 and 5 occur in this array 2 times. 6 occurs once and 8 occurs 3 times. At last, we will sort the 2D array on the basis of count in decreasing order. Now let's discuss how to maintain order of elements if two frequencies are same. To handle this, we should use indexes in step 3. If two counts are same, then we should first process the element with lower index and then process the element with higher index. In step 1, we should store indexes instead of elements. Let's discuss this approach now. We take the same array and sort the elements as we did in the previous example. We have stored their indexes before sorting. Now we construct a 2D array on the basis of indexes, like this. We can see that at index 1, we have 2, which has a frequency of 2. So we store 1 and its corresponding count equal to 2. And so on, we complete the entire 2D array. Now we will sort it on the basis of count. At last, we print elements using their indexes. Let's discuss the implementation of this problem in C++. So first we create a structure for storing count, index and value of all the elements. We initialize the count as 0. Then we sort the structure on the basis of its value. After this, we count the occurrence of elements of array by simply traversing it once. After this, we sort the structure on the basis of count. At last, we print all the values on the basis of its indexes. Let's discuss the time complexity for this problem. Step 1 and 3 takes O of n log n since we are sorting the array in these two steps. Step 2 takes O of n since we are just traversing the array once for counting the values. So the net time complexity becomes O of n log n. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section.